Good morning from Big Sky Country. I'm Stacy, owner of Montana Used Bricks. And today I'm doing another this and that video. This will probably be relatively short. I'm actually filming this in advance because I'm gonna be gone this weekend at a scrapbook retreat. But I did want to have at least something out there for you. And here are a few more comments that have come up on some of my past videos. The first one actually kind of made me giggle because when you hear it, you'll see why. The question was, are you still parting out for your store? And I'm not sure if they were referring to new sets or sets that I have bought. I'm not quite sure what they were referring to, but it did kind of make me giggle because I feel like I'm always doing something, <laughs> whether it be parting out, adding bulk parts, going through collections and trying to sell those on eBay. I'm always doing something. So as for parting out, I'm assuming they're talking about the new sets. And yes, we do have some that we will be parting out. My husband is usually the one who does the new parts and he just hasn't wanted to do that lately, not sure why, but he kind of put the new parts on hold, but we have quite a few sets that we will be parting out in the future. As for adding to inventory, that is an ongoing thing all the time, which leads me to the next comment that had come up. Really the biggest issues I come across when sorting and selling used is that it's not worth the time and revenue. Maybe I'm just slow and need to get faster, but I just find myself all too often spending hours adding parts to brick store and then the total value of the parts comes out to only $20. I'm still figuring it out, but anyone's advice experience would be greatly appreciated. And I second that last line. If you have any suggestions on how to do it more quickly and efficiently, I would also be interested. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm not gonna follow that advice for a while, <laughs> but right now, the way I do it is the most relaxing for me, and I am still trying to get back in the groove of getting things into inventory, and I'm not pressing myself to focus on the quantity. Right now, I'm just focusing on getting what I can in in the time that I have. That being said, I do eventually hope to retire. It's not going to be as soon as I would have liked. My husband was right. <laughs> but I do hope to retire at some point and make this more of a full-time business. And at that point, I will be looking for advice on how to sort used parts more quickly and efficiently. Right now, I use this business as my stress relief. I try to enjoy the business to the fullest that I can, and sorting and putting things into inventory is a very slow process for me, but I like it that way because it helps me to de-stress while I'm sorting and putting things in because I can either sit out here with no noise, just the sound of, Lego parts being moved around or I can enjoy a podcast, an audible book, or watch a movie or catch up on YouTube videos. So for me, doing this right now, I don't care about the profit margin of how much time I'm spending and how much I might get for my time because I know right now if I did that, I would give this up <laughs> because it takes me forever to get parts into inventory. And I've had people tell me as there's faster ways to doing that. And it's like, yes, I know, but right now, not interested. Right now, I'm just interested in doing this as a stress relief. Plus, I'm having fun doing the start to finish Lego hauls where I buy the box, show you what's in it, and show you the process of me putting it into inventory. And that takes a little bit more time because it's not as much bulk. So, and I'm going back and adding parts that I might have missed that normally I would just toss into the box for later. If you do have any advice on how to do it quicker, faster, more efficiently, please put it in the comments below. Or if you know of any other videos out there that discuss how to do that faster, quicker, and more efficiently, link those in the comments below because I'm sure other people would be interested in that as well. This last one, I feel like I've answered a half a dozen times, but I'm gonna answer it again anyway. <laughs> I have a question. I've attained a lot of used Lego. Do you wash your Lego or let it go out not clean? And 
I know there's a lot of stores out there that just automatically wash the Lego as soon as they get it. I don't do that. I generally look at the Lego that I get and if it's clean and seems like it's in pristine condition and looks almost new, I'm not going to go through the hassle of washing it. But I have had a couple of bulk lots that I have bought, opened up the box and ended up taking the box outside and immediately washing the Lego. Depends on the Lego haul that I'm getting. Some are kind of a mix and I will go through it and pull out the dirty parts and wash those. But if the parts look clean and pristine, I'm just going to put those into inventory. Is that a bad way to do it? probably, but it saves me a lot of time. <laughs> so I'm all for that. I would not put a dirty part into my inventory. Even when I do my initial sort, if there's dirty parts, I will toss those aside to wash. As I'm putting them into inventory, if I come across parts that are dirty, I'll toss those aside and those will get washed before they go into inventory. So it's not like I'm putting dirty parts into inventory. I'm just being selective about when I do and don't wash the Lego parts. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of comments on that. So go feel free, comment away. But this is just the way that I do it. <laughs> so that was all I had for today. Like I said, this is a short video, but hey, at least I got something out there. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, advice, anything that you would like to have brought up in a future video, please put that in the comments below. I do have a couple of things I hope to do in the next couple of weeks that don't have to do with just me responding to comments. But for me, these this and that videos where I'm commenting on your comments, it, it means a lot to me. I wanna be able to thank you for not only taking the time to watch my videos, but also to comment on them. So. Thank you. If you enjoyed this video, give it that thumbs up. If you really liked it, hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next video. <laughs> Bye.